peace, peace, peace. Welcome to another P. Die Halo experience. Um, today I want to talk about a personal experience that I'm going through or I went through really because I, I basically just let it go. I just want to know y'all um, your thoughts and your opinion on things and let me know if I'm, I'm out of range or right within range. So in March, I, I've i been on a mission, not even, let me start here. Since I was 27 years old, I've been on a mission to raise my son to be the best man that he could be, a, a, a better man that I could ever dream of being, right? Fast forward, he's 14 years old. And he does exceptionally well, exceptionally well in school. He's an on roll student. His B's and A's. Um, right now, I'm currently uh, trying to help him uh, oh, get through uh, an art audition. Let me get into art school. The seats are filled up, as far as that's concerned. But he can display another form of art to get a seat there and eventually get into the program he wants to in the school. Fine. I'm working on that now, helping him. Uh, put together some lyrics, some singing lyrics, you know, just to get him where he need to go. But in the midst of this in March, I filled out a SYEP application. If anybody doesn't know what a SYEP application is, it's a summer youth program application. I filled that shit out in March. I did everything I could. Put all the information, password, all that. Tell me why they send me uh, an email on April 29th. Today is May 1st, talking about I have to upload documents for my son to carry out the transition into getting into the summer year. They sent it two days before the deadline. So I hit the link, put his social, put his information, date of birth, it's denying me, denying me, denying me, denying me. And I know I'm not bugging, because I know my son's social by heart. You know what I'm saying? And um, so it, it sent me on this venture from the 29th, to 29th all the way up until now, trying to get in touch with somebody. I've called numerous numbers, sent numerous emails. I only received two emails, one saying, what's his ID number and his name? I gave that. The next morning they're saying that he's not a student at the school that he goes to, but he is a student about to graduate. So there's a lot of confusion going on within this computer world, and I want to address that today. I'm not blaming anyone um, in particular. I'm blaming technology. Um, to this moment, no one has gotten back to me. So it's almost as if my son's spot is forfeited. No fault of his or mine. And no one can seem like they can help me with anything. No one's answering the phone. It's going straight into voicemail. And, and it just makes me think about everything around me. How when you go to the subway, you can't even speak to the token booth clerk. She, that person is just there to not help you. And they'll tell you they can't help you with nothing. When, you, when the machine is not working and you can't get bills into the machine, she can't help you. They'll want, they'll want you to walk on the other, uh, down the block and across the street. No one is doing their job. And I see why AI is taking this shit over. And we are doomed. The whole human race is doomed. Think about how we live now. We are so far behind. Our ancient people in the past knew so much, even about technology. We're working with inferior technology. This phone that I'm recording is fucking inferior. And we, and most of us can't even fucking operate this inferior technology. We're so far behind. As far as myself, I know what I do. For the last couple of years, I've noticed something crazy about this technology in the computer world. I want to ask y'all something. Have you ever had an email or some type of site that you know the password for sure? You've been using the password for years. And when you try to sign in, they try to say that's the wrong password. Kind of basically forcing you to change the password. Yeah, that's AI doing that bullshit. They're trying to fuck with our minds, make us think that we're forgetting things. I went on that new site and clicked their link and put my son's information to go to the next step and they did not accept my information. The information that I actually used 
for him to get accepted. And it, and I have an email saying that he got accepted for the Summer Youth Program. But now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's his second step that they won't allow me to do on the computer. I even went on a, 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 a laptop and tried to do it. So I know I'm not bugging. I went to the youth center that he does the internship at. They couldn't help me. They gave me a number. They tried to help me, they gave me a number. That number tried to help me, gave me three numbers. None of them people got back to me. So I'm here to say, people, do not depend on technology. Technology has taken all of our jobs. They already took 